Here's a cauliflower plant I lost to the wind. It's been so windy. It just twists these stems. It catches the leaves like sails. Just twist that stem until it breaks. This one's not broke, but I'm gonna give it to the chickens. So here's where I lost my cauliflower plants, at least one of them. Dug some furrows. I'm gonna interplant some more seeds. Reason one to interplant. Make use of all the space you have. I've got some lettuce planted in between these onions. The onions will take a good long season to grow, but the lettuce will grow up and we'll pick and harvest it before the onions are done. Here we got carrots in between the onions. Here's some spinach in between the garlic. We'll pick and harvest this earlier than the garlic. Interplanting one crop in between another is a good way to make use of all the space you have in your beds. Reason two to plant crops together, different crops together. Double your chances. These beans I planted a week or so ago are not doing so well. We'll plant another crop right between them. That way, if the beans fail, we'll have another crop ready to go. And reason three to intercrop your garden. Have one crop growing, ready to take over the space that a harvested crop comes out of. This broccoli plant will be harvested soon. When it's gone, this lettuce can take over the space. Reason number four to interplant. Get rid of some of your old seed. I'm not sure, but I think this packet of mustard seed is about four years old. I'll plant it between these onions. Who cares if it doesn't come up? It's worth a chance. I'll put parsley between these onions. This broccoli variety didn't do well at all this spring. I think I'll use up the seeds, plant them between the onions. I'll use them as greens. If I let the plants mature, they'd be way too big in between the onions. Reason number five to interplant your crops. Mix things up. Sometimes it's not good to put all your eggs in one basket. Having all brassicas in the same area can attract pests. At this end of the bed, I have all brassicas, broccolis, cabbages, and this mesclin mix has a lot of brassicas in it and the flea beetles have found it there's a flea beetle right there it doesn't look like they're bothering the lettuces in this mix as bad but maybe a little bit in comparison the lettuces planted in between these onions look a lot better is that because they're in between the onions i don't know maybe like subscribe We'll see you next time.